What's up, Venture Crew? It's been a while, but we're back today on the channel to go through one of the fastest and easiest ways to optimize images on your website. Here we go. Okay, so one of the things that happens to websites when you start building them is that your images start to add up on the website and start to really make it a lot heavier. So we're just gonna jump in right uh, real quickly today and walk through one of the best ways that's out there in, to optimize your images, and that's the Elementor Image Optimizer plugin. So our team uses Elementor on a lot of the websites that we build, and so a plugin like this allows us to easily go in and actually just optimize all the images on our website. Let me take a quick minute to show you why this is a deal and why you need to be worried about optimizing images in the first place. So image optimization basically means that as you add images to your website, they add to the size of the website and it takes longer for the browser to load the site. So the reason that you need image optimization is because if you take images at their full size and you just upload them onto your website, then eventually your website gets heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier and the score, the speed score for your website comes down and down and down. Google cares more and more as we go along about site speed. And so as you add more and more images to your site, or even as you add incrementally one image at a time to your site, eventually those images really bog down your site speed. So one of the solutions that's hit the market for this is image optimizer plugins. There's plenty of plugins out there. We're gonna look at one today in particular, which is the one that was released by Elementor. And this plugin allows you to go through all the images on your website and actually just optimize them. So we'll talk about what that means in a second and the way that that uh, happens in the plugin. But let me just show you a quick example of how this happens pretty quickly without you even recognizing it. So. On this website here, I just have uh, a, a demo website set up. This is one of the super basic free uh, Elementor template kits, right? Just as, as an example. But even this site in particular has, you know, quite a bit of big image spots on it. And obviously images are important to any website that gets built. Uh, as you can see, each of these images in the design uh, is loaded in here. And as the page loads for each and every visitor of your site, that has to load these images, right? So anytime you run any sort of Google page speed score or any sort of GT metrics score or Pingdom or any sort, any of the popular tools out there for running site speed on your website, uh, you will see a line item in almost all of them that says you need to optimize your images. You need to make them uh, smaller and you need to optimize them to make sure that they're uh, as, <clears throat> uh, as high quality as possible but small size as possible in order to uh, reduce the um, file size of your total website and thus the uh, speed score or the, how long it takes to load your website. So as I'm going through and uh, building this site, let's say <clears throat> that I decide that I really like how it looks, but I wanna go ahead and just add a new photo gallery, right? So one of the most popular ways that I could go add some stock photos to my website is Envato Elements. So there's a link uh, to en Envato Elements. Uh, if you don't know what that is, um, this is Envato Elements here on the screen and it's an awesome way to find free uh, and low cost uh, stock photography. So it's a super low subscription amount. If you build websites, Envato Elements is absolutely paramount. And you can actually go in here and you can grab images for your website. The problem is if I just search for pottery, which is what I searched for, when I pull up these images, if you look here, you can see that the dimensions of this image at its full size are 6,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels roughly. That's a really big uh, image. For, for context, your normal screen size at high definition is 1920, 1920. So 6,000 is basically six times that width um, that you would need for this picture to take up 1920 uh, high def, okay? So if I just go and I download a bunch of these images from Envato Elements, and then I just add a photo gallery here on the demo site, all of a sudden, if I don't resize those images and I don't optimize them at all, I've actually added a substantial amount of weight to my website just by adding this section onto the site. So I show all that to show you that it can happen really fast without you even knowing it. You can add a bunch of images to your website and then all of a sudden before you know it, you've got a, a site that's loading really slowly. And if you really care about your site getting good traffic and you want Google to be happy about how it loads and how fast it loads for your users, uh, which is very important uh, these days, then you absolutely have to optimize your images. So one of the things that you should always do, just as a quick note, 
is uh, whenever you're using uh, putting images in to your gallery and all that kind of stuff, when you upload them to your media library, so let's jump into the back end here and you can see in your media library, before you upload to them to your media library, when you download them onto your computer, you should actually resize them first. So each of the sections of your website is gonna have like a pixel width that it sets for each image. So wherever you're placing the image, there's gonna be a pixel width generally for that section. Step one should always be to resize the image down from its full 6,000 by 4,000 maybe, down to like this might be 300 by 200 or something like that, or maybe even 500 by 300 would be a good size. That way the image itself is smaller size, even by default to upload it onto the site. So when our team builds websites, the first step we do is we resize the image down to a smaller size first of all, so that it, the, the default image we upload to the website in WordPress in the media library is smaller. So as an example, I just uploaded these images raw and you can see uh, that this one came in at 2560 by 1707. Um, so it's like still a pretty big size picture, right? That's, us that's actually, unless I'm using that as a full width background uh, section, it's gonna be too big for what I need. So what I should do is I should reduce the size of that even further, maybe eight, 800 by 500, 500 by 300. It all depends on where I'm using it on the site, but I should reduce the size, step one. Okay, and then step two is to use an image optimizer plugin like the Elementor one that we're gonna look at, okay? So uh, I've already gone through the steps of um, I've already gone through the steps of installing the plugin. So that's pretty easy. You just go on Elementor's website. There's a link down below to purchase your license for uh, the image optimizer plan from Elementor, okay? So if you just grab that link down below, uh, that helps the channel out, helps us to uh, continue making videos like this. Grab the, uh, the uh, license down below using the links that you see there. So you'll pull right up to this table and then grab your license and then that'll let you go ahead and download the plugin. So it's a separate plugin from Elementor. So once you download it, you just go into the back end of WordPress and just go to my plugins list here. And you can see in my installed plugins here, I have the image optimizer plugin by Elementor installed. Uh, if you don't know how to install a plugin, there's another video in our channel, which we'll also link to down below, which helps you learn how to install a plugin in WordPress. All right. So once we have the image optimizer plugin installed uh, with Elementor, we can go ahead and set it up. So if I go to the settings page, it's gonna take me to my settings here within the plugin. Now, here's a key. There is a free version of this plugin. If you go uh, over to the, um, uh, the pricing plan, so you can see there's a free trial that gives you 250 image credits. So what that will do is it will optimize 250 images for you, okay? So um, that's a cool way to start this out, see how, uh, see how you like it, see how you can optimize images. Um, what we would probably recommend is that if you are building any sort of websites on a regular basis, uh, that you opt for the optimizer plan or above. So the optimizer plan is probably gonna work for a lot of you out there. It's 50 bucks a year, which is super cheap, and it allows you to, to optimize five thousand images so if you're if you're doing several different client sites um, this plugin would be great at the optimizer level of course it looks like uh, Elementor sells the most of the optimizer 20k plan at the eight dollars a month but at four bucks a month which is super affordable for most of you uh, you can get five thousand images uh, optimized all right so let's walk through the settings okay so once we get the plugin installed, we have all these settings that we can do. Now there's a couple different options and ways you can do that. I'm gonna walk through each of these settings real quick just to kind of quickly explain each of them and what they are, okay? So across the top here, we just kind of have our dashboard of the optimizer plugin. Uh, we have a bulk upload option, which I'll talk about in a second, and then we can upgrade our plan to get more images if we want to as well. Um, the subscription status shows us that I'm on the 5K plan currently, so we've purchased the license for the 5K plan. The compression level, um, each you can see there's a little description here, but let me just talk through this, okay? So the compression level between lossless and lossly. So uh, lossy. So lossless optimizes the the uh, image, which basically uh, reduces the file size of the image without losing any quality whatsoever. So one of the things that happens with images is if you look at the image um, as you're optimizing it. As you optimize it more, so as you as the file size gets uh, smaller and smaller, you can sometimes lose some of the image quality in the image. It just makes sense. As the file gets smaller, you're gonna lose some of the details in the image. So it might be the tiny, tiniest bit blurry or something like that if you really push it on the image optimization, okay? Uh, the two options you have here for optimizing are lossless, which means it's gonna optimize the image to a smaller file size, but it will not lose any quality or lossy, which is gonna be more aggressive with the optimization, and you would stand to lose maybe the tiniest bit of 
um, of quality in the image. Now, here's what I can say. We build hundreds of websites a year on our team. And usually if we're optimizing at the lossy level, it's pretty, unless you have a massive image that's being right in your face on a website, it's actually pretty hard to see any like actual degradation in the image. Most people who are searching on their phone or they're looking at your website or they're pulling it up, they're not actually gonna at quick glance know the difference between lossless and lossy. So you can be more aggressive if you want to and feel, free, feel pretty comfortable about optimizing your images without uh, without worrying about too much uh, image optimization loss. Uh, I'm sorry, too much quality loss. Because normally the user's naked eye isn't gonna really tell the difference. Uh, optimizing new uploads, this is a cool feature where if you leave it toggled on, as you add new media into your media library, the new uploads will automatically get optimized. We usually set this setting so that we know that when we have images that we load and we load up into the media library, we know they're automatically getting optimized and we don't have to worry about going in and optimizing them manually on a regular basis, okay? Uh, resizing larger images, this just basically sets how big an image can be before it actually gets resized. The e EXIF metadata is probably less uh, concerned uh, for most of you, but basically this is your date uh, metadata that goes along with the image. So any image you upload comes along with some metadata, where it came from, the date and time of the image, all that kind of stuff. That actually adds to the file size, the metadata that goes along with it. So if you clear that, and you can do that with the uh, Elementor plugin, excuse me, then that reduces the file size as well. Uh, backing up original images basically says once you have the original image uploaded and you uh, reduce the file size to the smaller one, do you want to keep the original one at the larger size? This of course keeps your media library bigger, but the actual file that's being used on the front end of the website is smaller. So the, um, that uh, has pros and cons there and you can kind of make your decision. And then convert to WebP. Uh, WebP is a more modern image format. And if you keep this um, checked as you add images, they're gonna automatically have a WebP version created that you can then put in on the front end of the website. And the file optimization settings are just some more uh, specific settings that you can use further on down. So a couple last little features that I'll point out here um, on the images is uh, you can do this one of two ways. You can bulk optimize all of your images in your media library or you can optimize them one by one. So you can kind of hand pick different images, okay? So I'll just give you a couple examples of how this will work maybe in different settings. So if I bulk optimize all of my images here, which I'm gonna go ahead and do, I can just hit this button and um, the M Elementor plugin is gonna start into optimizing all 160 of my images, okay? So you can see here, bulk optimizing may take a lot of processing and server time, depending on the number of images, and your site will work smoothly. Um, your site will still work smoothly while it's being done without any downtime. So it's gonna go ahead and do that in the background. That's one key feature actually to the Elementor plugin is that this optimization happens in the background. So it doesn't take down other site resources. It doesn't block a lot of other things going on. This, this plugin works really beautifully in the background. As you can see here, as I'm talking, I can go do other things on the website, which I'll show you some of the stuff in the media library right now. And it's all gonna work just in the background. It gives me a status of all the images being optimized. And you can see how it's just working in the background to go ahead and optimize them. It's already done with 10% of my, sorry, with 16%, that's, sorry, that's uh, space saved at 16%. It's done without, with about 10% of my images already. Um, the other way that you can do this, so that's the bulk way to do it. The other way that you could do this is in the media library, you could actually pull up each individual image and then there is an optimize option. So that one was already optimized by the plugin. Let's see if we can grab one that hasn't been optimized yet. And you should see here down in the right of section of this image, if it loads, um, it's going to show me uh, an optimize button that allows me to actually hit that button and optimize that image. So it looks like it's just um, spinning here a little bit because it's going through the bulk image optimization. But basically the other way to do this is individually on each image level. So each of these, um, you can see here that uh, it actually optimized a lot of this image. So this was a massive image that I uploaded just a few minutes ago before I started into the video. Um, and you can see here that the overall saving here was 1.4 megabytes, which actually is quite a bit of savings in size of the file on my uh, on my website. All right, so that's really, really cool. And so the two, that, just to review, there's the two ways that um, basically uh, you can uh, go about the optimization. Again, you can do it in bulk, like you can see here it working in the background, or you can do it on the individual image level, which allows me to just pick and choose. Maybe there's a bunch of images, I don't know about you, but when we build sites, there's a bunch of images that are in the image library, that the media library that we're not actually using. So we don't have to, to optimize those because they're not being loaded on the front end of the website. So that's an option as well. 
So that's a quick overview of the Elementor Image Optimizer plugin. Let me just jump real quick back to the uh, pricing table options that you have. Uh, and again, the link is below if you wanna grab one of these licenses. Uh, you can do 250 image credits for free. So 250 images get optimized for free. Maybe if you're just doing your own little website or something like that and you have a small number of images, this would be a great approach for you. Otherwise, uh, all of you guys that are out there that are building multiple sites for yourself in your own portfolio or for clients, one of these top three plans is um, absolutely the plan that I would go with. And it's gonna allow you to, you can see here feature wise, unlimited websites. So the other cool thing about this plugin is that it's not per website. So this $4 a month at 5,000 images, that's across multiple sites. So let's say you have, a th um, uh, you could do a thousand images across five sites, right? Um, or 500 images across 10 sites. However you wanna go about it, um, 500 images is still a lot on a website, right? So you could go across and do this across almost all your portfolio of client sites if you wanted to um, and optimize all the images across all of them. But no matter what, using this plugin is going to allow you to substantially reduce the size of your images, which is one of the number one ways that's gonna increase your site speed across your websites. All right, it's been great to run through this with you guys. Uh, go ahead and use that link to grab that license for your image optimizer plan uh, from Elementor that helps out the channel. And we love Elementor. We use it on a regular basis for almost all of our site builds that we do as a team. And we can't wait to see you again soon here on the channel. Peace.